Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and today we're going to be doing an update video on a computer I haven't shown in a while, and that's the Carolina Flyer, my main Windows 98 PC. And there have been a few changes since the last time you saw it. I don't remember when that was. It might have been Christmas. But, um, biggest thing that's changed is the case. The other one I was using... I don't know, just didn't seem as era-appropriate to me, but I wanted to uh, still use a black color case. And so what I did was I went on Amazon and for about $45 bought this uh, Antec case. This computer's a little dusty. <laughs> and it's been working uh, just fine for the past uh, almost six months. It's uh, a very, very cheaply built case. Not the highest quality around, but you know what? It gets the job done. It works um, well enough for a Windows 98 machine. Specs, it has... Um, well, originally it had a 866 megahertz Pentium 3, but it has been upgraded to a 1 gigahertz Pentium 3. Um, I believe it's a copper mine. It originally had... a I think 256 megs of RAM, but it's been, or it may have been 128, one of the two. But in, either way, um, recently I upgraded it to 512 megs of RAM. And the uh, rest of the computer is essentially the same as before. We still have the 16 meg uh, 3DFX Voodoo 3 video card, the Sound Blaster Auto G sound card. It does. It did get upgraded. I don't know if I've shown it on video yet. It does have a, uh, in place of a hard drive, a SD card, which is in a 3D printed uh, 500 quarter inch drive bay adapter, which um, is being sold by someone on eBay. He's coming white and black. I forget the name of the seller, but here it is. And in here I have a uh, 128 meg, uh, not 128 meg. Uh, Windows 98 on 128 megs of space. <laughs> it's a 128 gig um, SD card. And it's uh, divided evenly with two partitions, one for the OS and the other to store my games and documents. And the intent of having this is just so I could swap between OSs on different SD cards, but the thing is, is that... Um, the only operating system I really need on here is Windows 98. <laughs> and I guess I could run something like uh, Windows ME if I, if I get brave enough. Or I could run um, even Windows XP, uh, like pre-service pre pack 2 uh, most ideally. But I don't know, Windows XP on an SD card might not be the best idea. And we have a 3.5 inch floppy drive and a DVD-ROM slash CD-RW drive. And we have some case badges. Um, we have a design for Windows NT and Windows 98 sticker. A Sound Blaster sticker. Both of these are courtesy of Geek and Spiel on eBay, whom I've uh, done a video about before. We have a Intel Pentium 3 case badge and a uh, 3D Effects case badge that is just barely hanging on there. I probably need to get a new one. And on the back we have our power supply. We've got our I.O. PS2 ports, USB 1.1 ports, Ethernet, VGA out, which, which I don't use. Serial, parallel, game port, and sound. Again, I don't use any of these. And there's our 3D effects card and a uh, Sound Blaster Autogy sound card. Now, um, this is one of those cases that, and I hate it when they do this, that uses um, those pop out um, slot blanks, the ones you just uh, bend and they just uh, break off. I cannot stand those. So I just replaced them with some more legitimate looking ones that actually screw in. Okay, inside we have a uh, our 1 gigahertz uh, Pentium 3. 
our 512 megs of RAM. The motherboard is a uh, Intel brand. I always forget the model number of this. Um, is it? It might be a E1397. 61 maybe <laughs> might be the wrong number I don't know there's our 3d effects card yes I do need to put a heat sink well it does have a heat sink but I do need to put a fan on there I just haven't found an appropriate one I know someone will probably uh, mention that that I do need to put a fan on there and you are right there's the Autogy card this is a great Pentium 3 motherboard, by the way. It's rock solid, but I wish it had an ISA slot. I guess it's just a little new for an ISA slot, but still, it would be nice to have an older uh, sound card, like a All-64. But the good news is, is that the uh, Sound Blaster Autogy has excellent DOS support so uh, I guess an ISA sound card really isn't that necessary in this kind of computer and right here is an adapter this uh, case uses a USB 3.0 port on the front and obviously this motherboards too old for that so I just uh, use this adapter to take it back down to an older style connector I'll put that back where it goes and there's all our uh, drives. That's where a hard drive would go if I had one in here. Yeah, I guess we might as well go ahead and hook it back up and uh, play around with it. Okay, got the uh, computer hooked back up in its permanent spot, so let's go ahead and uh, fire it up. I have the uh, computer uh, hooked up right next to my main computer. And due to uh, limited space, I'm having to use the sound card hooked up to the uh, line in on my main computer for sound. So, no external speakers on this computer. And you may have noticed that um, the uh, post screen just came and went. <laughs> this computer has an extremely fast post. And so um, you have to be really quick to uh, hit that F1 key to get into the BIOS. Okay, we'll skip that for now. And that's thanks to our All64, not All64, uh, All, uh, Autogy. <laughs> I get my I get my sound blasters confused, um, folks. It it, it it happens. But here we are, booted into Windows 98. And by the way, I'm using this uh, flat screen uh, gateway monitor. This beige one works great. I would like to uh, hook up a uh, CRT to this computer, but I'm just not sure if I'd have the uh, space on this desk to do that with or not. Maybe I'll try it someday. I just haven't gotten around to it. And we'll go into our system properties. And this does have a FireWire connector on here, thanks to the sound card. And it's a Sony optical drive in here. Also have Damien tools on here for uh, mounting ISOs with. There's our 3D effects card, network card, which is built into the motherboard. It's Intel card there, and Sound Blaster Autogy. And Sound Blaster Autogy, especially the Autogy One, like this one has, is a phenomenal sound card on Windows 98. You get excellent sound, excellent MIDI, and you get perfect um, DOS emulation. And to show off some of that MIDI, we will uh, do a MIDI test. Find a good one.
All right, let's do a DX Diag. And we can see we do indeed have a 1 gigahertz processor. And there's the info on our uh, display. Now, whenever I do a video about this computer, I've always liked to uh, showcase its capabilities of playing uh, computer games from within a 10-year period. And that's one of the re things I love about the, this uh, Carolina Flyer. This was the... Uh, this was the uh, idea from the start for this computer, to be able to play almost any computer game made between, let's say, uh, the early 90s to the early 2000s. And so I want to do that in chronicolo chronological, 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 chronological order. And so we'll start with a um, good old-fashioned MS-DOS game. Uh, let's pick out a good one. How about uh, Jill the Jungle? As you can see, the uh, MIDI, or whatever you want to call this music, sounds uh, accurate. It does glitch here and there with the sound. Might be because I'm running it in Windows. So um, this game's probably not a uh, good example. Once I get past this level, I'll go into a game that has um, ad-lib audio. And that should give us a better uh, representation. score and oh, I forgot you can't go around there <laughs> if that makes sense and this computer does not have a PC speaker it does have a little uh, beeper um, built into the motherboard so it does have a little something but nothing uh, outstanding uh, let's tr let's just try um oh uh the old standby sky roads christmas special and as you can tell sounds just like a uh original sound blaster 16 for the most part it's not perfect But considering the fact that it's so difficult to find a PCI sound card with good ad-lib support that sounds accurate, the Sound Blaster Autogy does a really good job at it. And they're cheap too if you can find one. So if you're looking for a good uh, PCI sound card for Windows 98 that has good, good uh, DOS support, I'd suggest the Autogy. Okay, now something from the Windows 3.1 era. Of course, I played this game on Windows 95, but it it, it could be a Windows 3.1 era game. 
Let's explore the airport from Humongous Entertainment. And Random House. Let me hit the uh, fly the swatter button, aka the escape key. <laughs> and of course, there's no no uh, goal to this game at all. Could have sworn that guy looked American. That's a 90s one. I think they just paged uh, Mr. Waldo asking, Where are you? <laughs> nice little pop culture reference. This yours? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Oh, I don't think so. I always thought that guy um, reminded me of uh, Ray Romano. Everybody loves Raymond. How about this one? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Oh my gracious goodness, no! Go ahead and type in your name! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the knowledge bug. We'll keep. Here's a classic. You can get the right colored luggage to drop into its matching bin. I don't know about you, but this doesn't look so easy to me. And of course, it gets harder and harder each level you, you complete. Graphics seem to be glitching a little bit in this game. Okay, on to the Windows 95 era. This is a game I used to like as a kid, and it's kind of a cult classic online. Lego Island. Let's go ahead and pop this into the disk drive. That music has always amused me.
This game can be a little temperamental, so uh, hopefully it runs just fine. Okay, looks good to me. I thought this guy was kind of annoying. How you doing? You and in any language, welcome to Lego Island. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's sign on in. Oh, well, that was interesting. You know, I don't tell everybody this, but here's what you do. Select the letters in your name, then click the check mark. You have some you pretty, uh, what... boring secrets. Okay. And now, your I usually just start at the gas to station to build that, Island. uh, 4x4 car, but... What a surprise I think this time I'll here. build a race car. I actually, come to think of it, no, it isn't. I was expecting you. Anyway, if you want Creepy. to build a race car, and who wouldn't, look for and select the button that looks like this. All right, we'll do that. How you doing? I'm Bill Ding, and you're just in time. Uh, let me put this cap on here, and oh, wow. Pretty sporty hardware, huh? I'll bet you're ready to build your car, right? If not, I'd exit by hitting that triangle over here. I'm pretty busy, so unless your head's falling off, you're on your own. I know you're smarter than me, and I've built zillions of cars, so I know you can figure it uh, out. So a hat that now turns that people into rednecks. To the shelves to find no the comment. Parts. Push them and drag them down to the wire frame. Your paints are over there, and this switch over here will swing your car around for a better look. When you're done, click on the triangle sign and somebody will bring her out here before you die. Good luck, little brick. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Don't, Don't ever me call me a little brick a again. Cat stuck in a radiator. Gotta go. Be number eight. How about that? I like the sound of eight. Ooh, -wee, snappy looking wheels you got there. Good job. I have somebody bring it out front for you. Oh, if you want to make any kind of changes later, just come on in again. You know, customize. Yes, yes, I must agree with Bill Ding on your stupendously built new race vehicle. But let's see what it can do, eh? Enter the competition, get in your car, and... Alright, let's do some racing. I used to never really do the racing on this game growing up. I think losers are kind of cute. Most of my best friends are losers. So we can be friends. Are you taunting me? Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, please, and go! Well, hi, Don Pardo. Yep, I'm already losing big time. <laughs> Getting a little fast and loose with the controls here. <laughs> Yeah, Lego Island on faster uh, CPUs like um, what I have here, the uh, controls can be a little bit slippery. I know there's a YouTube user, I believe he's Matt KC, who um, developed a uh, fix for that. And so I should probably uh, check into that for this computer.
I am not expecting to win, by the way. of pizza in this game. That's probably because it was the 90s and that's what kids were into. Whoa dude, let's go to the let's go get some pizza. Oh, I'm not doing good. I'm surprised my car hasn't blown up yet. This is one trippy racetrack, I gotta tell you. I'm not going to win, am I? got me on a bad day, my sinuses were blocked. What was that about? I got no excuses. You beat me fair and square. <laughs> Congratulations what? on a well-run race. Not since Hot Rod, Stud Lincoln's dad, have I seen such dexterity on the track. What? Very good. You yes, actually won? Very good indeed. And by the by, you are hereby awarded a red brick for first place. I actually won? I wasn't even paying attention to uh, who else was in the race. <laughs> I am genuinely surprised by that. Let's get out of here. Are you okay, so for something from the uh, Windows 98 era, which would be the late 90s, early 2000s, I'm going to play a little bit of Motocross Madness 2. Normally I play this with a joystick or a gamepad, but currently don't have one hooked up to this computer, so we'll just do it with the keyboard as best as I can, at least. Yes, I totally read that. Motocross Madness 2 has detected a change in your game video hardware driver installation. We must now test your hardware driver. And we are going to be using the Voodoo 3 for uh, graphic rendering. Yeah, I guess I can't skip that. Oh, Billy! That sounded painful. <laughs> Sure, what this is. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. I drive a uh, Honda car, so a Honda motorcycle, but 
would probably do me quite well. Not that I'm interested in motorcycles. I'm actually actually don't have any interest in motorcycles um, at all. So as you can see here, it's um, running very smoothly on here. Good frame rate, supposedly. I tried playing this on my uh, on a AMD K62400 with a. Uh, 8 meg ATI card and it did not run well on here on, and this game did not run well on it at all put on a system with a Voodoo 3 and a 1 gigahertz Pentium 3 this is what this game was made for Should not have done it like that. The sound of this engine is reminding me I need to change the blade in my uh, electric razor. Okay, that's about all there is to show on the uh, Carolina Flyer for right now. Um, I would like to uh, test out some other operating systems on here, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video with the uh, front-mounted SD card. But again, you know, Windows 98 is... That was not a good noise. <laughs> Windows 98 is all I really need to be running on here. But would you guys like me to make a video of me attempting to install Windows XP on this computer using an SD card? Um, let me know and I will see what I can come up with. And so, until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Do it again. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.